Hello, beer troopers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, checking out another West Coast IPA that I picked up on Beer Republic. So uh, I talked about this in my previous video as well, the West Coast IPA I picked up on there. I just found out that they had beers from West Coast breweries that I've seen nowhere else. So we're trying a beer today from a brewery I've heard of um, that uh, I've never tried any beer from. So I bought this on that shop, Beer Republic, if you guys want to try it. I think you can still find it on there. So this is from Mason Ale Works in San Diego. And I mainly picked this up because I've seen this can around online. And just because of the great marketing, because it looks like a can of WD-40. <laughs> so um, this is a West Coast IPA, but these guys, they're based in San Diego. As I said, it says Alesmith Court. So I'm wondering if it's like an old Alesmith location that they have or something, or in the strip mall area. Was it a strip mall? Oh, it's been years since I went to Alesmith. But Alesmith's location was taken over by Mickler San Diego. So it could be that Mason Ale Works took over after Mickler San Diego closed. I'm not sure. Because uh, they've been in Oceanside before they went to where they are now. So this is just called their West Coast IPA, WC-IPA. And uh, it says it's the only beer for the job. It's hop forward, citrus, tropical, and piney, and it's dry hop with HBC 586, Idaho 7 Cryo, Machueca, and Mosaic hops. 6.9% alcohol, feeling rusty after that long day at work. Then grab yourself an ice cold can of, of VC IPA and relax with our special, specially formulated West Coast IPA because Mason Ale works. <laughs> Someone studied marketing. Dad jokes. No, I, that's fun. Um, and then they've got like warning signs about hopping, hops in there and then flavors, which is fun. High bitterness as well. So let's try uh, my first can of beer from these guys. I don't know when this was packaged. I'm guessing it's going to be like three, two to four months old, which is what most of the West Coast stuff was on the site. Um, so not dead fresh, but let's see. I mean, the cellar maker beer really held up. So pour is a nice... Uh, light straw yellow with a slight golden hue to it. It looks a bit darker on camera, but it's not like that super pin bright, you know, like looking like a pilsner. Or, well, it does look like a pilsner, but some of them are just like so pale, a lot of these modern West Coast beers. Uh, this looks a lot like what I remember, you know, drinking some San Diego IPAs and like Alpine and whatnot. It's like, it's not like completely dark and orange, but it's uh, not like, Pilsner yellow or Hellislaga yellow as some are these days. It's just got a little bit more color to it. White head and good head retention for once. And uh, let's check out the aroma. Ooh, grapefruit piney for sure. Definitely some tropical vibes, like a mango or something. But very citrus heavy. And it smells like somewhat like a classic West Coast IPA, but with more fruitiness to it. Almost like it's classic San Diego IPA meets some slightly more modern West Coast IPA. Yeah, very citric forward. Sweet citrus. A hint of that grapefruit. And then there's like those tropical vibes of mango. There is some kind of spiciness to it as well. I wonder if that's Idaho 7 because I get a lot of spice sometimes from Idaho 7 along with like bubblegum notes. Yeah, HPC 586 also has a tendency to lend a lot of tropical vibes. Same goes for Mosaic, but it's definitely like tropical and, and citrus. It smells good. Let's try it. Cheers. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh, that's definitely bitter. This is kind of like a fusion between a lot of like the really modern stuff and more classic West Coast. There's like definitely thing, flavors in here that reminds me of being in San Diego, going to like Pizza Port and, and, and drinking beers there or like going to Alpine back in the day. There's like, it, it does not feel as like drenched and saturated in hops as some of the newer West Coast IPAs, but it still has a lot of like nice hop flavor and then like more of that classic bitter piney finish. Still plenty fruit forward though. Like Motueka is there with some sweet mango. I think for sure Idaho 7 is there as well with like 
slightly bubblegummy, but also really spicy. Like I'm getting loads of spice right now and like earthiness lightly as well. But there's just like enough bright fruitiness, so it's not too much. So it's like there's definitely like a nice bright mosaic character to it as well. Like tropical, citrus, almost dome fruit. And I get some of those vibes as well, usually from HPC 586, alongside some herbaceous notes. And I think the herbal note to me here, maybe not so much, is more like earthy, biting, kind of slightly bitter herby, almost like noble hop-esque in some way, like some of that like bitter peppery uh, nuances, earthiness and whatnot. This is nice West Coast though, really good. I'm like mind blowing, just really nice. Um, if this was my local, I would be really excited. I think this is how a lot of things perceive West Coast uh, and maybe even West Coast where they have more malt, like there's a little bit of sweetness, there's like some malt sweetness on the back, but it's not loads. Could also just be hop sweetness, but I'm, I'm, it feels a bit more like malt to me, but it's still a dry beer. You feel the dryness, the bitterness. I mean, it's, must be finishing around two point something max. Yeah, because it's it's finishing fairly dry. Ooh, that was a great fruit burp right there. But this is really nice. This is very, it's nostalgic, but modern at the same time, which is very nice. This is great. This is, this is really nice. Very good first introduction. And I did not look this beer up on rating sites or anything prior to this review, because uh, I didn't want to be colored. But, oh, it smells really good. I'm getting a little bit more brightness now, I've poured some more beer in the glass. A little bit more of a bright tropical edge. It's just awesome, clear beer. We got a little bit of haze pouring the rest in, but that's usually the case with these beers, with dry hopping. Um, yeah, really good, 91, two-ish, something like that. Great West Coast IPA. Um, yeah, makes me want to try more of their beers. And just imagine how this is uh, when it's dead fresh. It's definitely, I'd imagine close to like 94-ish range or something. And these guys, also cellar maker, must really have great control of DO levels to solve the oxygen because these beers are just still drinking quite fucking good for it being like this old, old. But uh, hey, new brewery to check out next time I get to go to San Diego. So. Yeah, 91, I think, for Mason Ale Works West Coast IPA, 91, 92. I'm still undecided, but really good stuff. Check it out. Um, if you want to try it in Europe, you can get it on Beer Republic. That's where I bought my can. I uh, just want to give some shout outs, even though I never use a shop that often. I just, the fact that they have West Coast stuff is really fun. So I thought you guys should know where you could get some um, without having to trade. Like West Coast is getting so hard to find in Europe. Uh, but it seems like there is a few breweries now pushing to get it back, especially the modern stuff, which is awesome. So yeah, if you had it, let me know. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up, enjoy it, and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. I'm going to say cheers and some best coast beers, and see you guys in another beer video.